Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna Shivastav and I welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, we solve question 2 of IC class 12 computer science specimen paper 2025 and these are the 4 parts we are going to solve. So before we begin, it is a request to please click subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only 2 to 3 are subscribed. More than 95% of my audience are not subscribed and your subscription is very important. So please, please do subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So you have to do the first part, which is convert the infix to prefix. So this is the equation that you have been given and you have to convert, convert this to prefix. Okay. So there is a long stack method to do this, but I'm going to do this in very short. Okay. So what we know about infix is operator is between uh, operand one and operand two. So infix has operator in between two operands, right? Prefix has operator then operand one and then operand two okay to evaluate a value this is prefix and this is infix we convert each of this form into this form that is convert operand operator operate into operator operand operand okay and we follow the rules of precedence and associativity okay so in this equation the first parts that will be calculated separately are this and this okay so we convert operand operator operand into operator operand one operand two this is calculated separately then bias three happens into happens and we calculate this separately which is converting this into operator operand one operand two so operator operand one operand two okay and this returns an operand only okay because if you evaluate say two plus three this gives you five this is also an operand okay so the return value the calculated value of either of these is an operand itself okay which means this is also an operand and this is also an operand. So we keep doing this till we cover all the operators. Okay. Next is this but slash C division C will happen first and then into will happen. Okay. So this is operand one. This slash is operator. This is operand two. Okay. So we change it to operator operand one, which is minus a B and then operand two, which is C. This whole separately is one operand into this plus D E. This again is operand one, operator and operand two. Okay, same operator first, then operand one, and then operand two, and this is your prefix notation. Okay, so your part one is done. Okay, next question is on address calculation, and I have uploaded videos on this already. So you have been given this matrix, uh, base address is given, size is given. You have to find this column major wise is the way this 2d array is this metric is stored okay when they say this it means they have it don't have indices like 0 to m minus 1 for rows and 0 to n minus 1 for columns the number of rows and number of columns have indices starting from negative okay just shifting the index indexing from 0 to some negative value or some positive value so number of columns are going to be minus 6 to 10 which is going to be minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you count this, this comes out to be 17, which is equal to 10 minus minus 6 plus 1. So number of rows are 17. Okay. Just count how many indices are given here. Minus 6 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is the formula that you calculate. Okay. Higher index minus the smaller index plus 1. Okay. Number of rows are 17 we found. Similarly, you find number of columns, which is going to be 15 minus 4 plus 1. It is going to be uh, 12, uh, 11 plus 1, 12. Okay. So column is basically taking indices 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 is the number of columns. Okay. We have number of rows. We have number of columns. We have base address. We have size. We can find the address of this location using the formula for column major wise which is so we, it is equal to base address plus c minus c naught into number of rows plus r minus r naught this whole into size okay so base address is 1025 plus c minus c naught c is 8 this is the column c naught is the first column okay c does not c naught does not have to be zero C0 is the first column which is 4. Okay, first column index is 4. Okay, number of rows are 
17 17 plus r r is 4 so this is c this is r okay 4 minus r naught is the first call first row which is minus 6 which is minus 6 okay into size which is 4 you plug in these values you find the final answer 1025 plus 8 minus 4 in, is 4 into 17 plus 4 plus 6 which is 10 into 4 so which is equal to 1025 plus 68 plus 10 into 4 which is 1025 plus 78 into 4 is equal to 1025 plus uh, 78 into 4 8 was at 32 3 carry 7 was at 31 312 so this is going to be 7 3 3 1 and this is your answer okay and i've already posted a video where i explain in detail how you arrive at this formula okay so your second part is done next is to you have to uh, predict the output and tell what this function is doing so when i read it i can see that this is a binary search because you're calculating the middle value you're checking if the value is less than the middle value going to the left half then you're saying if the value is greater than the uh, middle value going to the right half else you're returning the index because this is where you're finding the equality of the value otherwise you return minus one when you uh, like when uh, front becomes greater than large and you like you have exhausted your whole range okay there is no more searching to be done okay so this is binary search okay all right so binary search what it does is basically gives you the index of the value that you're trying to find so you're trying to find 40 in this which is at index 0 1 2 3 so this is going to be the return value is 3 now let's see how we, we calculate this return value let me just quickly try run this so what are the values we have we have x array remains the same array is 10 20 30 40 50 array is 10 20 30 40 50 okay uh, you have f we have l and then the return value so the first time this function is called and it is called with uh, uh, this array and x40 x is 40 x40 f is the lower bound so 0 l is the upper bound so 4 and then we have to find the return value f is greater than l is false f is greater than l is false okay so you come here come here you calculate m m is f plus l by 2 so 0 plus 4 by 2 it is going to give you 2 arr of m is less than x okay arr of m arr of m which is uh, 30 30 is less than x true okay so this is the first recursive call okay so when you call here you pass x as it is your front is m plus 1 which is 3 your l is 4 as it is okay and then we do this again f is less than f is greater than l false okay so whatever this returns is the return value from here okay from 2 okay all right f is greater than l is false okay you come here m is f plus l by 2 3 plus 4 by 2 is 7 by 2 is 3 okay a r r of m is less than x a r of m is 40 okay 40 is less than 40 is false you check here 40 is greater than 40 uh, 40 is sorry greater than this is greater than 40 is greater than 40 is false finally else you return m so you return 3 which is the return value right so this basically is doing binary search okay next part is you have to fill in these parts okay so give this a reading so basically you have to calculate sum of powers that is each digit raised to the power 3 and sum it all and this function should return the final sum. So the standard way of extracting a digit and removing a digit you should remember how to do that. Okay. So suppose we have 1, 4, 3 we have to find 1 cube plus 4 cube plus 3 cube and suppose n is 1, 4, 3. So you have to extract each digit make it to power 3 and add it to sum. Extracting each digit happens by percent 10 removing each digit happens by okay so this will give us the digit this will remove the digit okay and recursion will sort when num equal to 0 that is when you do 143 by 10 you guess 114 you get 14 by 10 you have to get 1 you get 1 by 10 you get 0 this is the stopping condition okay that you have removed all digits all right 
so this is going to be zero okay if n is zero return zero okay there is nothing to sum okay then you this two is filled by the digit which we extract using this so this is going to be num percent 10 okay then you are doing digit to the power 3 okay digit to the power 3 that we need to do and we need to add for other digits as well how do we get other digits we remove this digit and pass the remaining so remove this digit pass the remaining is by 10 so basically recursively calling this function passing num by 10 so this is your third part okay calling the function with number 10 so that you remove the digit of which you have found the power of 3 and then you find the sum for the rest of the digits okay to the power 3 okay so this question is done as well okay i've also posted a video explaining how to find armstrong number if you go through that video if you take a look you will understand how we are reaching at the solution okay so i hope you like this video and this was helpful so if there's any doubt there's a part you don't understand please let me know in the comments i always try to answer all your comments and you can also let me know in the comments if there's a question you want to solve or if there's a concept you want to discuss so please like this video subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching